Good morning. Welcome, everybody. It's lovely to have you here today. So today we're going to be doing a Hatha class, and we're going to be focusing on the theme of courage. So courage is really beautiful, and I love Brene Brown's quote where she says, you can choose courage or you can choose comfort, but you can't choose both. Because that really reminds us that courage demands that we come to a space of discomfort. Usually when we use the word courage, we think of um, heroic deeds and events. We'll talk about soldiers being courageous, charging off into battle, and you know, the courage that it took to do something really scary. So whenever we use the, words, the word courage, we're really thinking about taking ourselves outside of our comfort zones and doing something that's a little bit scary. So when we work with courage, we have to allow ourselves to be scared. Courage isn't, um, isn't the sensation of never being fearful. Courage is what you engage when you are fearful. And there's so much fear all the time, whether it's applying for a new job or asking for a raise or fear, you know, of whatever's going around that we're going to get sick or, or whatever else is, is really getting to us. So we have to give ourselves that inner strength that we need to face our fears with courage. And that's where we start to be courageous. Unfortunately for most of us, we don't choose courage, we choose comfort. We stay in the same job, we do the same things, we see the same people. We stay where we know we're safe and where we know we're not gonna fail because somehow failure seems to be a dirty word, but really it takes courage to fail. And there's this really beautiful poem I'd like to read to you by Antonio Machado. It's called The Honey of My Failures. He says, last night as I was sleeping, I dreamt, marvelous error, that I had a beehive here inside my heart and the golden bees were making white combs and sweet honey with my old failures. And I think that's so beautiful because that's what we really have to remember, that it takes courage to do something. And just because we faced our fears and we did that courageous thing doesn't mean we're going to succeed but every single failure takes so much courage and it's on that failure that we build our success. So we've got to start thinking about courage and fear and failure through these new eyes, looking at courage as something that doesn't necessarily lead us to success because that's not what it's about. Courage is about doing something and not having an attachment to the outcome. I'm going to do this scary thing regardless of what happens, regardless of how we judged or what's said or what the outcome is. And that's really what takes the courage. So we're gonna to practice today. It's quite a technical class. We're gonna to need to really um, dig deep. If you can't do something in class today, if there's a posture or something that doesn't feel right for you, just be okay with that. Remember that there's something that you can do, something to get you started. So if we're in a particular pose, just remember we don't go straight into a pose. We go through various steps and each step takes courage. So be very gentle with yourself and allow yourself to be there every step of the way. As a disclaimer, this class is very challenging for me. And I may not be able to do everything today, but I'm gonna do my very, very best. So I look forward to sharing this with you. Bring your hands together, hands at your heart center. Relax your shoulders, lengthen your spine. And stretch down through your sitting bones and up through the crown of your head. And take a long, deep breath in and exhale, inhale, and exhale. And we'll start with one long arm. Take a deep breath in to begin. 
And just sit for a moment. Feel the vibration of Om in every single cell in your body. Om bringing everything to neutrality. And neutrality is where all of possibility exists. Beautiful. Release your hands, come into your hands and knees. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And we're just gonna start moving through cat and cow. So inhale, drop your belly down, look up, and exhale, curl up. That's beautiful. Just moving to your own rhythm and pace. Feeling that connection to the spine. And as we work with courage, we work through the body because the body is how we experience the world. And the one thing that courage needs is trust. We have to trust ourselves in order to do that courageous thing, whatever it is, to climb that mountain, to do that course, to sing that song, whatever the heart is calling for that takes courage, needs trust. And so we learn to trust the body and come to neutral. Tuck your toes under, straighten your legs, press your chest to your thighs, relax your head, relax your neck. Breathing consciously and then walking it out, lifting and lowering your heels. Maybe you're doing quite an exaggerated walk so that you're twisting through the hips. That's it. Very nice. Come back to neutral. Look up between your palms and walk your feet to your hands. Grab hold of your elbows, relax your head, relax your neck. See that the weight has shifted to the balls of your feet, so you're tipping slightly forwards. Release your arms, soften your knees, and curl up, come to standing. Take a lovely long deep breath in, and exhale, bring your palms together. And just pause here for a moment. Notice your fingertips slightly meeting. Notice the base of your palms. And experience that gap at the center of your hands. That gap where the magic happens, where all the possibility lies. And take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, reach up and arch back. Palms to the mat. Right leg back, right knee on the floor, look up. Other leg back. And exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, right foot forwards, left knee on the floor, look up. Other leg forwards. Inhale, reach up, arch back. Exhale, palms to the mat. Left leg back, left knee on the floor, look up, retain, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, left leg forward, right knee on the floor, look up, beautiful, up leg forwards, inhale, reach up, arch back, and exhale, release, inhale, Exhale, palms together. Inhale, reach up, arch back. Exhale, palms to the mat. Right leg back, right knee on the floor, look up. Other leg back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale, right leg forwards, left knee on the floor, look up. Exhale, other leg forwards. Inhale and exhale. Left leg, look up. Retain. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left leg forwards. Right leg forwards. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, palms together. Inhale, reach up, arch back. Exhale, palms to the mat. Right leg back. Right knee on the floor, look up. Retain. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right. Exhale, lift. Inhale. And exhale. Left leg back. Retain. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right. Inhale. And exhale, palms together. And just take a moment here. You can release your hands alongside your body. Tuck your tailbone under. Engage your belly. Regulate your breath. Feel what you're feeling. Breathing with awareness into that space of presence. Trusting that this is where the magic happens. Right here, in the space between. Turn your palms to face outwards. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, reach your arms up. Hands are interlinked with the index finger extended. So you're going to lose the top of my arms now. Check that your feet are nicely grounded. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and straighten your elbows as much as you can. Now, everybody's elbows straighten differently. So wherever your elbows are, that's fine. What matters is that the shoulders are down and away from the ears. Now, automatically, you start to arch your back. So tuck your tailbone under and strongly engage your belly. Feel firmly planted through your feet. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, reach all the way over to the left. Keep your elbows straight. Now see the body starts twisting forwards. Roll the body back. You want to keep shoulders and hips in a straight line. Beautiful. Hold the chair and breathe. Inhale to center. And exhale over to the right. Elbows nice and straight. Shoulder back. Keep rolling your left shoulder backwards. Beautiful. Breathing into it. Now don't let your ear rest on your arm. Keep your neck active. And back to center. Very nice. Now we're going to strongly engage the belly. Push the weight through the front of the feet and drop back as far as you can. Keep your head in line with your elbows. Elbows nice and straight. Drop as far back as you can. Inhale, come to center. And exhale, down. And bring your hands alongside your feet. Relax your head. Relax your neck. And then bring your hands behind your back. Interlink your fingers behind your back. And lift your arms up. Drawing them over your ears. Still keeping your weight shifted forwards into the balls of your feet. And release your arms, soften your knees. 
and curl up. And just take a moment here. Feel what's happening in your body. Notice your heartbeat. Feel present and aware. And we're going to do the same sequence again. Deep breath in, palms face outwards. And as you exhale, reach your arms up and slink your fingers. Index finger extended, shoulders away from your ears. Deep breath in, belly nice and strong. And exhale over to the left. Roll your shoulder backwards. Beautiful. Very nice. And inhale back to center. And exhale over to the right. Roll the left shoulder backwards now. Sink into it. Even deeper than the last time. And inhale up. Deep breath in. And exhale, drop all the way back. Up to center. And exhale down. Bringing your hands down, tuck your fingers under the front of your feet. So you're standing on the palms of your hands. Shift your weight forwards and relax your head and neck. Beautiful. Breathing into it. Release. And curling up and come to Tadasana. Big toes touch, ankles touch, tailbone tucks under, belly lightly engaged. Soften your shoulders, relax your face. Breathing with awareness. And really feel what's happening in your body. And then bring your weight onto your left foot. And bring your right leg up off the mat. Keep the knee bent. Engage the foot so your knee is at hip height. And there's a 90 degree angle. There we go. And just stay here. You can engage to your fingertips now. Belly nice and strong. Find your focal point, your drishti point, and take all of your awareness onto that point. And then your next inhalation, extend your leg. Beautiful. And back. And extend. And back. Very nice. Find your drishti point and just keep going. Staying active through the fingers. And Release. Come to center. You can bring your hands to your hips. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, raise your right leg up. Breathing. Raise it up a little bit more. That's it. <laughs> Good. Hold it up. And release. Breathing into it. Notice what happens to your heartbeat. Notice what happens to your breath. Such simple movements having such a profound effect. Good. Weight on your left leg. Bring your right leg up. Grab hold of your right knee and just hold it here. Make sure you're not leaning backwards or forwards. Make sure your spine is nice and straight. Find your gazing point, that single pointed focus, the drishti point. And then bring your hands underneath your right foot. Interlinking your fingers underneath your foot. And again, just stay here. And only if it feels possible, if you feel completely steady, extend your right leg. Breathing into it. Beautiful. And 
release, come to Tadasana. Feel what you're feeling. Again, the heart rate goes up. So present, so aware. Weight onto your left leg. Right leg comes up, middle and index fingers, grab hold of your big toe and your right foot. Left arm comes out. Now stay here. Maybe this is as far as you go today. That's absolutely fine. But if it feels possible, extend your right leg. Now you can stay here, but maybe you want to open. Beautiful. And maybe taking your gaze over your left hand. Back to center. And release. And just feel what's happening. So much presence and awareness. Beautiful. Weight on your left foot. Again, right leg comes up and you grab hold of the inside of your right heel, left arm out. And you can stay here for as long as you need to. And maybe opening that right leg up. Stay with your drishti point. Beautiful. And release. And just pause here now. Check in with yourself. Every step I take is courageous. Every time I fall, I'm practicing courage. Every time I try, but I can't get it exactly right, I'm performing a courageous act. Each failure, a stepping stone to my success. And a reminder of how courageous I am. Beautiful. And then bring your weight onto your right leg. Bring your left leg up. Activate the foot so that you're at a 90 degree angle. And just hold it here. Belly nice and strong, tailbone tucked under. And then activate through to the fingertips and extend and back. Extend and back. And just keep going, coming back to 90 degrees each time, staying active through to the fingertips. Beautiful. And release. Feel what you're feeling. Breathing into that space of possibility. And that possibility relies completely on courage. Without possibility, without courage, we remain in comfort. Beautiful. Hands onto your hips, weight onto your right leg, flex the left toes and raise the left leg up. Beautiful. Hold it there. Just hold. Lifting it up. Make sure you're not leaning backwards or forwards. And release. Very nice. Breathing into it. Feel what you're feeling, present and aware. And then wait on your right leg. Left leg comes up again and interlink your hands underneath your left foot. Now stay here for as long as you need to. And only when you feel completely steady like it's absolutely possible, extend your left leg. 
Beautiful. Find your drishti point. Stay completely focused on that one point. Breathe into it. Stay present. That's it. Good. And release. Come to Tadasana. Feeling present, feeling aware. Notice your heart, notice your breath. And bring your weight onto your right leg. Left leg comes up, grab hold of your big toe with your middle and index finger of your left hand. And take your right arm out. Now stay here. Don't feel any pressure to move out of this posture. Find absolute steadiness and stillness. And only if it feels possible, extend. And only if you feel really steady here, open. And maybe taking your gaze over your right hand. Stay with your focal point. Come back to center and release. Feel what you're feeling. Breathing into awareness. Weight on your right leg. Left leg comes up, grab the inside of your left thigh, take your right arm out, and extend your left leg up. Reach it up, maybe taking your gaze over your right hand and release. Come to Tadasana, breathing into that space of awareness. Feel the courage that it took to try these postures, many of you for the very first time. And just feel such gratitude at whatever you were able to achieve today. So often we lose our courage because we focus so much on what we can't do. But if we focus on our successes, every tiny little success, it becomes easier to engage that courage. Beautiful. Now take both arms out to the sides, palms facing downwards. Take your right foot out and bend your left knee. So we're bending the left knee. Good. Now we're going to take a deep breath in and as you exhale, you're going to swing your left arm underneath your right elbow and you're going to bring your right leg behind your left calf. So ideally your little toes are peeping out around the other side and then sit down into Garudasana, eagle pose. Beautiful. Remember wherever you are is absolutely fine. That's it and come up and release notice the heartbeat notice the breath take the arms out to the side palms face down take your left leg out and bend your right knee beautiful now swing your right arm underneath your left elbow, bring your palms together and bring your left leg around your right. There we go. Wrap the little toes around the calf and then sit down, that's it. Good. Beautiful. And release, coming up. Feel what you're feeling. And breathing into that space of awareness. And 
courage that it takes to let go of the comfort of what's easy and step into the unknown. And then take your feet about a leg distance apart. So I think you can, most of you can just open out your legs a little bit more. That's it. Good. Very nice. So remember, it's a leg distance apart. And most of us think we've got very short legs. So just check, look down and see, are my legs really that short or do I need to open just a tiny bit more? Good. That's it. Nice. Now, turn your right foot to face outwards. And then check that the heel of your right foot is at the center of your left foot. Always the hips follow. So bring the hips back. Good. Now we're going to bend the right knee, coming down into warrior two. Chest faced forwards, arms out to the side. And sink down into that right leg and just keep twisting your hips forward. Your hips keep moving this way, bring them that way. That's it. good. Sink down. Very nice. Breathe into it. Take your gaze over your right hand. Tailbone tucks under, shoulders stretch away from each other. And then bring your right hand onto the mat, palm flat if you can, but you can always be on your fingertips if you need to. And open your chest, so roll your shoulder backwards, and then take your left hand behind your back, sink down into your right knee, and bring your right hand through your leg and try and bind your hands behind your back and then open your chest and look up. Very nice, good. Hold it there, breathe into it. And release. Bring your left hand as close to your right foot as you can. Your left foot now faces forwards. And then twist your body, whoops, <laughs> to the right. And raise your right arm up. There we go. Make sure your back leg is nice and strong. And release down to the mat. Drop your left knee. Bring both hands to the inside of your right foot. And then just let your right knee fall out to the side. And you can even use your right hand to gently open that knee. So we're kind of doing something like this. That's it. Good. Opening the knee, just gently pushing it outwards. Very nice. Good. And come back to center. Tuck your left toes under. Straighten both legs. Bring both hands on either side of your right foot. And now you can just step your left foot one step closer. Rest your hands alongside your foot and relax your chest along your leg. Soften into it. Bring your hands behind your back into Namaste, into prayer position. You can bend your front leg and push up to standing. Drop back and release, turning to face forwards. Very nice. Now take your legs again, a leg distance apart. So you need to shuffle them out again because remember we stepped closer together. Turn your left foot to face outwards. Check that your left heel is at the center of your right foot. And turn your body to face forwards. Bend your left knee. Arms out, palms face downwards. Beautiful. Take your gaze over your left hand. Tailbone tucks under, belly nice and strong. And just imagine there's somebody stretching your hands away from each other, creating space between your shoulder blades. Beautiful. Bring your left hand down to the mat, right arm up. Good. 
Now bring your right hand behind your back, opening your chest. Left hand through your leg and try to bind your hands behind your back. Sink down through that knee and lift your chest up. Beautiful. Very nice. And release. Bring your right, what is that, right hand as close to your left foot as you can. Turn your right foot to face forwards. Twist round to the left and raise your left arm up. Now keep your back leg really nice and strong. Lift it up. And release. Coming down. Drop your knee to the mat. And then use your left hand to just gently push that left knee out to the side. Sinking down. Creating space in the hips. Very nice. Good. Breathe into it. And come back to center. Hands either side of your left foot. Straighten both legs. Step the right foot one step closer. And bring your head down towards your left knee. And just relax here. Try and keep the knee as straight as possible. But if you need to bend the knee, that's absolutely fine. Really listen to your body. And then bring your hands behind your back into Namaste. Inhale, come up to standing and turn to face forwards. Release your arms, tuck your tailbone under, breathing with awareness, heart pounding in your chest. Regulate your breath. As you bring stillness to the body, quiet the mind and focus on your breathing. And take your arms out to the side, deep breath in. And exhale, stretch forwards, bending from the waist. Grab hold where you can. Just gently pull your body forwards. Relaxing here. Weight in the balls of the feet. And really not forcing it at all. We're just kind of softening into this forward bend. Remember how we love to surrender into a forward bend. Just really practicing that surrender now. And sometimes the biggest courage, the hardest courage, is surrender. It takes courage to stop doing and start being. And just feel the courage that it takes here not to force this forward bend, to just surrender to it. Beautiful. Now bring your hands to center. Walk your feet slightly together so they're just slightly wider than hip distance apart. And we're going to bend the right knee and bring the right hand. I'll do it this way so you can see. We're going to bring the right hand through that right leg. Left hand comes behind your back. And try and bind your hands behind your back. Okay. Now just stay here till it feels really comfortable. And then see if you can start straightening your left leg, bringing your right leg off the mat. As you can see, I'm struggling a bit today. So find your grip. Start straightening your left leg. Coming up to standing if it feels possible, ah! <laughs> and then straightening that right leg. Good. So I did put the disclaimer that I may not get it right today. Good. Let's see what you can do. So ideally, what we're trying to do here is come to standing.
and then straightening that right leg. Beautiful. So just play around with this for a few seconds and really have fun with it. See where you are. Beautiful. Fall out of it. It's okay. Good. Very nice. <laughs> and come back to standing. Beautiful. Let's shake out the shoulders. And just take a moment to feel what it feels like to challenge the body. To feel that it's okay to fall out of a posture. To sometimes not get it right the first time or even the second time. But to know that we've got the courage that it takes to do it anyway. We've got the courage that it takes to allow ourselves to fall out of the pose and try again. Beautiful. So let's go into the left side. So inhale, reach up and exhale, stretch forwards. Bend your left leg and send your left arm through your left leg and your right hand behind your back, binding your hands behind your back. Now maybe that's where you are for today. Maybe you just stay there playing with that. And if your hands can't quite bind behind your back, grab a t-shirt or a towel and, and hold on to that t-shirt or towel and just get used to that opening in the chest. Remember, we're having fun here. We're not punishing ourselves. So then once you have a nice firm grip, see if you can straighten your standing leg. <laughs> Good. Very nice. And if you can straighten your standing leg, then seeing if you can straighten your left leg too. So just play around with it. Be very gentle with yourself. Beautiful. Experiment with your body. Have the courage to get it wrong. Have the courage to play with it for a few seconds. Have the courage to trust your body, wherever it is. Beautiful. And come to Tadasana. Big toes touch, ankles touch. Tailbone tucks under, belly engaged. Bring your palms together. And just feel the moment of gratitude for Bird of Paradise pose, wherever you are in Bird of Paradise. Think of that beautiful flower that grows so beautifully, so striking. And hold yourself in the space of possibility. Come up on your toes, come down, pause, and then come down into your mat, opening out your legs, rolling forwards onto your sitting bones. Spine nice and straight. And just take a moment here, lengthening your spine. See if you can find the courage within you. Where is your courage? When last 
Did you use your courage? For me, it was just a moment ago, teaching a posture I know that I, I fall out of so easily takes courage. And these little things that we do all the time, we're all courageous every single day. But maybe we just don't realize it. So just recognize now. When last were you courageous? And then turn to face your right leg. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, soften. Maybe the last courageous thing you did was an afternoon nap. Maybe it took great courage for you to say to your family, enough, I'm going to lie down now. I'm not cooking dinner tonight. Maybe that was the most courageous thing you did this week. Sometimes courage is big heroic actions, saving drowning babies, and other times, Courage is those gentle moments where we honor our own needs. And walk your hands across your mat. Come over to the left side. Soften. Breathe into that space of awareness. Surrender. And find the courage within. Walking across to center and soften here. And deeply relax. Deeply soften. Deeply surrender. With each exhalation, soften your chest a tiny bit closer towards the floor. And go into that space of you, this pure possibility. And know that you have the courage to transform that possibility into reality. You have the courage to step willingly into the unknown. You can draw your legs together and relax down. Softening and surrendering. Into exhalation, taking you deeper into awareness, and then very gently keeping your spine rounded, curling down onto your mat. Take your arms out at shoulder height, bend your knees to your chest, drop both knees to the right, and look over your left shoulder and surrender, soften your spine, soften your breath, slow your breath, come to center, change sides, drop your knees to the left, Take your head over to the right. And breathe into the space. Deep awareness.
we come back to center. Take your legs out to the corners of your mat, palms alongside your body facing upwards. As you prepare for the final relaxation, adjusting your posture as you need to in, the Lord, in order to come to the most comfortable relaxation posture for you. And you can give yourself permission to relax fully and completely. knowing that it is here in the space of deep relaxation, that you are healed. I relax my feet. I relax my feet, my feet are relaxed. I relax my calves and thighs. I relax my calves and thighs. my calves and thighs are relaxed. I relax my hips and buttocks. I relax my hips and buttocks. My hips and buttocks are relaxed. I relax my abdomen and chest. I relax my abdomen and chest. My abdomen and chest. Relax. I relax my hands and arms. I relax my hands and arms. My hands and arms are relaxed. I relax my neck and my shoulders. I relax my neck and my shoulders. My neck and shoulders are relaxed. I relax my face, eyes, nose, and mouth. My face is relaxed. I relax my tongue. I relax my tongue. My tongue 
seems relaxed. I relax my internal organs, heart, liver, spleen, all of my internal organs are relaxed. My entire body is completely relaxed, filled with peace, joy, and courage. And there is peace within. Peace around and peace in all the world. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. You can start to very gently bring your awareness to the rise and fall of your chest. Rubbing your thumb across your fingertips as you move your toes. You can take your arms above your head, have a beautiful stretch. And then hugging your knees to your chest, rock gently from side to side. And then roll over onto your right hand side for a moment. And then you can push up and come to Sukhasana, to a comfortable cross-legged posture. Beautiful. And bring your hands together. Come to your heart center. And we'll finish with three arms. Take a lovely long deep inhalation to begin. Oh. Namaste. May you always choose courage over comfort. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.